everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today is a She Modern Foil Art um video. <laughs> um I've been having a, I've been struggling a little bit using the regular polish and the water decals and I've kind of figured out that I don't think I was letting them dry long enough even though the um you know the quick dry Sally Hansen dries really quick. It really works out a lot better if you let it dry for several hours and before you try lifting it from the film. So I'm going to show you um, how to do that today. Um, but I'm also going to show you how to use it with gel polish. So I'm going to show both techniques and we're going to use glow in the dark pigments today. So I hope you like that. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to use these stars, and I've got two stamper heads, so we're going to make um, some stars of each color that I'm doing today. Um, actually, I'm going to do um, regular polish and gel polish as well. You can see how that is going to turn out. And I said before, the, gel, um, the regular polish we're going to have to let sit all day long. So I'm going to cut out some stars here. I think we'll go with large and medium. And I'll do one of each. We'll do a large over here and a medium over here. And a large and a medium on here. Okay, so let's, um, this will be the regular polish. And what we're going to do is I've got my Insta Dry here. And I'm just going to make sure that I get a lot of it off, but I still want a good amount covering the nail art. Otherwise, it doesn't work out so well. Okay, so that's covering the nail art. So we're just going to let that set. Now, it, it does sit within 30, 60 minutes. However, we're just going to let that sit for like a half an hour. I haven't had the best of luck with that. Now, this, we're going to use my quick dry um, shiny no clean top coat. Not quick dry. <laughs> we're going to use the shiny no clean top coat. And we're going to cure it in the lamp. Now, with this one, you want to make sure that you get it really, really thin. And you do want to stay as close to the outline, just a little bit over, but as close to the outline as you can. You want to get the center. Okay, so we got the center really good. And to help remove it from the um, backing, you can go off. Oops. Sometimes the, <laughs> the top coat sliding off onto my brush a little bit more. Okay, I should still have enough on my brush to do this little one over here. Again, you want to just keep it really thin. And I'm just coming off on one end just to help with the peeling process. And I'll show you, you know, what we're going to do to get it off later. So I am going to put this under the LED lamp for 30 seconds. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the glue, um, the foil glue. And you're gonna keep this extremely thin because you don't want bulk. You want it to dry quickly. So I'm just putting a little bit of this right in the center of the star. 
If you get on the outline, don't worry about that. That's fine. But you don't want to get over the outline. So you want to keep it in the center. And it is white. I want to get those little points really good. And it's white. So it will dry clear when it's ready. Okay. So I'm just going to do the other one. Okay, so now I'm going to add the glitter pigments um, because the glue is dry. And today I am working with the white glow in the dark and the green glow in the dark. And this is the gel polish. I'm just going to show it on the gel polish. It's the exact same process on the other one, except for you just have to let it dry for several hours. I'm, I'm guessing yesterday's thing drew for like three hours. So you might want to make your decals like the day before um, you're using them or something like that. I don't know. So I'm just going to use these two and I'm just going to be really careful <laughs> not to mix the two. So I'm just going to put a little bit here and then I'm going to dab it around. in the glue. I think this is like plenty. I don't think it's going to stick anything else. Okay, then with the clean finger, I'm just going to, actually I'm going to leave that right now. Okay, then I just wiped my finger off. And so now we're just going to take the white glow in the dark and I'm going to do this with the little star. See, that one's all covered, so it's not going to run into this little one. And this little one, I'm just going to move around. That looks good. And then with my clean finger, I'm just going to brush it out of the way. Okay. There. That is good for now. So now you can see that this is very sheer. Um, if you put it over a color or whatever, it's not really going to stand out that much. Um, so I'm going to give it a little pop of color. And what I'm going to use for that is I'm going to use Zoya um, Evergreen and Aspen. Aspen is from their Matte Velvet collection. Good thing about Zoya, you can always get these polishes for like ever. And this one already has a sparkle in it. So that's really cool. The camera will focus on it. Um, so that's really cool. So that's going to be extra sparkly. And then this one is from, I think it was their Neon collection or their Brights collection. I was already practicing with this to make sure it came out so I didn't have to trash another whole video. <laughs> So I'm just using a piece of tin foil. That way I can just throw it away. And now I have my little brush right here, teeny tiny brush. And let's do the green one first. And I'm just going to dab it. Oh, no, I got it on the wrong spot. That probably won't matter that much. Hang on. Technically, you don't want to go out of the lines, but what I'm going to do, I don't. I think it'll be okay. So I'm just going to dab this on the back, making sure to get up into that tip area. Actually, this stuff dries really fast, and I probably shouldn't have put both of them on the um, tin foil. So I'm going to have to put more of the white on the tin foil. So I'm just going to cover the whole back of my star. Okay. 
and that looks awesome. So now I'm going to clean my brush or get a new one and then I'm going to put some more white on here and we're going to do the white one. Okay, so now we're just going to do the white with this beautiful sparkly white polish. Being careful to stay inside the lines. Getting into the tip and, and the whole back side of the star. Okay, you want to keep it thin. So we still have it that it's really thin. You see the other side. It's beautiful. I mean, the green is, is sparkly too because the glitter is sparkly. So it's not like, it's not sparkly. These are both sparkly and they're going to be gorgeous. Okay, so now we're going to let that dry for like an hour or so because that's, you really need this to dry really well. So we're just going to set that aside for the rest of the day and then we'll come back later and we'll do my nails. Here are the regular polish ones that we created and as you can see it's already starting to lift up and that's that is okay it's been several hours so everything is great it has come away from the cellophane really well and then what I've been liking to do is kind of trim this extra part hanging off I just want to do that So I'm just going to go ahead and trim all this extra. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue on the back so that it will stick to the nail. This part's curled over a little bit, and you're probably going to get a little bit of that. When using this method. Okay, so now I'm just going to put this aside and let that dry for a while. Okay, so we're going to prep these to put on my nail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel this up and I'm going to lift right here at the edge. Try peeling it away from the The top. There we go. So that peeled away fine. I'm just going to do that with this one. Okay, so I'm just going to clean this up now because we're going to use that in a minute. And with these, I am just going to trim away all of the edges. I'm just going to do that. That way, if it's a little bit a little bit raised, if it's not quite so flat and fitting right, um, you won't see any of the edge. It'll just be like a little bit of a raised design. Now I'm going to put some glue on the back of these. They'll, they'll stick to the nail.
just a little bit will do the trick. We'll wait for that to dry. While we're doing that, we'll do our nails. And on my nails today, I'll be using Wave Gel, Shiny No Clean Top Gel, and Base Gel. And I'll be using Clean Slate. And I'll be putting on two coats of Clean Slate. And then I'll just top coat the um, the nails that I'm not putting any design on. So I'm going to put the one coat on and then cure it and come back for the second. Okay, so now I'm putting on the second coat. Okay, so now we're gonna, these are the regular nail polish ones, and so we're just gonna turn this over and position it on the nail. It should stick down really well. And it does. Now, I'm just going to apply the gel top coat to that because this is a gel base coat. But um, if you were using it on regular polish, you would have to put uh, a no white, a no wipe top coat over it um, to protect the foil, and then you would put your your um, regular top coat over all of that. We're just not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and cure that. Okay, these I think these should be dry enough. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one star here. And if you have anything hanging off the edge, you are going to have to clip that off because acetone is not going to work on this since it is all gel. And this one, I want a partial star. So I am going to trim off part of it. Figure out what part I want. I don't want that much of it. So I'm going to trim off one whole side, which I probably should have done before I stuck the glue on. There we go. Put that back on there. Okay, and I'm just going to put that right here, push it down, looks really good, I like that. And I have a couple that I did yesterday, so I'm going to put one here. And I think a partial one right here. And I'm not sure how much to trim off. That's why I left it on there. So now I can just kind of look and see what I want trimmed off of the bottom. Also take it off since it's gel polish. It's not going to hurt anything. And I can trim that a little bit better. And put it back on. There. That'll work. 
All right, now I'm just gonna top coat those. Well, okay, so I have my gel top coat right here. Just gonna put that on. It is a little bit raised, but that's okay. And then I'm going to cure it. And the glow in the dark pigment is amazing in the dark. So here is the final look. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.